September one. Uh, the reason is it takes a long time for the ships to come over, and it's a period of time. So I'm giving a four, like a four-week period of time before the tariffs go on. But we're now taking in tariffs on 10 percent on over 300 billion and 25 percent on 250 billion, and it's been proven that our people are not paying for those tariffs. 川普周四下午连发四条推文，隶属近期中共不守承诺、出尔反尔的行为，同时宣布加征关税的决定。川普在推文中说：“三个月前，我们以为可以和中共达成协议，但很遗憾，中共在最后签字之前决定重新谈判。” I think President Xi, who's somebody I like a lot, I think he wants to make a deal, but frankly, he's not going fast enough. He said he was going to be buying from our farmers. He didn't do that. He said he was going to stop fentanyl from coming into our country. It's all coming out of China. He didn't do that. We're losing thousands of people to fentanyl, and this was time. 本周三，美国贸易代表团在上海与中方举行了半天的短暂会谈。虽然双方都表示会谈具有建设性，但并没有取得任何实质性进展。因此，川普再次宣布加征关税并不意外。事实上，川普早已看穿中共的拖延战术。Meaning, I don't think personally China would sign a deal. If I had a two percent chance of losing the election, I think China would probably say, "Let's wait. Let's wait. Maybe Trump will lose, and we can deal with another dope or another stiff, like the people that allowed these deals to happen." 就在美国代表团前往上海的当天，川普就已发推文明确警告中共，如果他再次当选，到时候的贸易协议会对中共更严厉，甚至根本就没有协议可谈。新唐人记者乔安综合报道。